花よきれいとおだてられ咲いてみせればすぐ散らされるバカバカなバカな女の恨みいぶし定め悲しと諦めて泣きを見せればまた泣かされる女女女涙の恨みいぶし Powerfully cinematic, ultraviolet, and bearing a poetic elegance and natural beauty, Lady Snowblood is a tremendous piece of revenge cinema set in the late 1800s Meiji era of Japan. It's a savage tale that concerns an imprisoned mother giving up her body to multiple men in a quest to birth a child that may come to exist in order to avenge the four criminals that murdered her husband and son during a village raid. In an easy to follow but non linear narrative structure, we then follow the bloody and beautiful silent assassin Yuki, raised from childhood to fulfill her mother's death wish and subsequently full of hatred and heartache, with a sort of calamitous uncertainty about her own actions. Yuki lives a castaway life where yesterday and tomorrow are words without meaning. For our benefit, though, Yuki's predestined mortal yet deadly journey. Spoils the screen with highly artistic scenes of impeccable wide shot cinematography, excellent atmosphere, and a flawless, brutal ballet of swordplay violence. Depicting the attitudes and relationship between the rich and the very poor of its time, we get a small subplot involving one of the little men of society. A liberal writer pens a manga based on Lady Snowblood's progressing quest, but the authorities are having none of it. Aggressively seeking to shut him down as they work to stop Yuki in her getter clog tracks. The screenplay is of a slow and captivating pace, with a background of underlying sadness that is eventually pierced by a closing, ultimate woeful scream. Lady Snowblood, despite the entertainment value of its memorable, stylish killing scenes, never loses sight of its own tragedy and pathos. Supported further by a fantastic, chilling score, performed no less. And by Lady Snowblood herself, Mei Kokaji, I find the film to have a timeless quality, possessing a sincerity and credibility in its execution that make it a very special motion picture indeed. <laughs> 